Hi, it's Annabelle. Welcome back to another clay making video. If you're new, I'm an artist and potter from Melbourne, and basically, I'm trying out paper clay. I'm making these sculptures for an upcoming exhibition. It's gonna be a group show, and I was invited to display some of my pieces so I wanted to make something especially for it and also try something new with some bigger sculptures and so I decided to try out paper clay which I've been wanting to try for a long time and basically this is a pottery slash ceramic clay that has paper fibers mixed in with it so you are meant to fire it, I'm not going to just because that's a big hassle for me without my own kiln but basically because there are paper fibers throughout it it's meant to be a lot stronger before it's fired so I'm hoping that if I just keep it unfired it'll still be strong enough to have as a sculpture but yeah, usually you would fire it and all the paper fibers would basically burn away and so it's really good because usually before firing that's when your pottery is the most fragile and that's when I've broken a lot of my pieces. But basically if something breaks, you can also attach wet clay to the dry paper clay or vice versa. So it's really good if you're making very intricate things or delicate because you can fix them easily and that's why I think for people who are making sculptures this is a really good clay. But yeah, this is my first time using it and I guess some differences I noticed was the texture is definitely quite different it's a lot drier and grainy not as sticky as clay normally is so like joining things is a little bit different but one of the good things is is it holds its structure really well so i'm making this hollow sphere right and i think usually if you were doing this you would fill in the hollow space with something to help hold up the structure but I just found that the clay held it up really well and usually when I'm using normal clay this would be an issue where the clay is really floppy and it would collapse because of the weight of the clay if I'm trying to build something big so that's something that I really like about this clay, it doesn't really feel too risky when shaping things because I feel like often with normal clay it's like once it goes out of shape it's really hard to pull it back. So this one felt really safe in trying to mould the shapes that I was trying to get. But yeah, I'm making this bunny girl head. I make a lot of funny girls so I thought this is very appropriate and I've had this idea in my head for a long time and it's kind of inspired by Yoshitomo Nara. I looked a lot at his sculptural pieces and a lot of people says it reminds them of like adventure time or well, someone mentioned Twins in Paradise, which is an animated short film, which I went and watched and it was really cool. But yeah, after I finished this sculpture, I'm just waiting for it to dry and then I want to try and spray paint it. I have a lot more freedom with what I can decorate it with since I don't have to stick to pottery glazes, so that's also something. I wanted to try out but yeah I'll let you just watch a little bit without me talking so enjoy
this is the finished sculpture just going to wait for it to dry now I hope you enjoyed watching if you did please like the video and subscribe if you're not but I'll see you in the next one bye